Have a look at that! Nice oh, screaming. That is unbelievable. Oh, nice hit. Well done. Oh. Look at that. Not a bad sight. Oh, mate. Hi and welcome to Fishing WA. Well today we're here fishing the upper reaches of the Swan River chasing black brim on lure. We've got a great show lined up, let's have a look. The Swan River is on Perth's doorstep and would have to be one of the most popular fishing destinations by far. Today we're fishing the upper reaches around Guildford and the target species is the black brim. When it comes to catching black brim on lure, Jeff Spadassini would have to be one of the best. Armed with a selection of brim lures, I was quietly confident on getting fish, so let's get into it. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Jeff Spadassini certainly knows his stuff. He said, Ryan, it's SX40 time. We've been throwing around the Z-mans and just certain spots you just know especially obviously with his experience, like he said, this sort of structure, that deeper drop off, the SX40, bit of a shimmy, bit of a rattle, it's got to produce, and need I say, that it has. Nice, nice. Thank you very much there, Jeff. On the deck, black brim on the SX40. We'll get out of the net and give you a close look. Out, there you go. Now, so important to me, black brim, sports fishery. So I'm going to look after them, catch and release. Can't eat them, but I love doing catch and release. Being a hot deck, carpet, basically a bit of water like that. Now, Swivel's original tape measurer. To me, it's so handy. You can measure your fish on the beach, out in the boat. Black brim is 25 centimetres right there. And you can see right now, that's around about 27 at a guess. So that is legal size, but again, here for catch and release. They really are magnificent fish in that structure, look around for a feed. Just so happens, saw the SX40. Your lucky day is going back. Today, it's just starting to fire up. I was only just thinking to myself, I've got a bit of a tap. I'm thinking I should just pause for a sec there. That's where having the right information, right help with Jeff. Jeff certainly knows his stuff. And he just said, me personally, Ryan, you can pause it, but better off when you get that tap, just to keep him whining. He's done tournaments for many years. He knows his stuff. And look at that in the water. Have a look at that. Maybe more around sort of 30 centimetres. Sorry if I've got a bit of water on the lens, but have a look at that purple hues as well. And a bit more purple in that one, into the landing net. And another one for the boat. I was only just saying to myself, how good is my job? Now that's a magnificent sight. Now just before I get out of the net, so important, especially with this sort of brim fishing, catch and release, to use the Environet. Basically the mesh material, basically your trebles don't get tangled up in there. Less scales have been flicked up on your fish. So doing a lot of catch and release, especially the brim guys, the tournament guys, that's what they use. It's all about caring for the fish. Nothing wrong with taking them home, but if you're gonna release them, why not look after them? Look at that. Guildford black brim. Around Australia, everyone targets them. Doesn't matter if they're yellowfin brim, pikey brim. In this case, the black brim, which is the most common species. Decent size. That was a short quarter fight, i.e. hook it up, hard fight, use the rod tip, extract them out of the snag, land your fish. And that one there to guess, I've wet down the deck already, would be around about maybe 30. Let's have a look. Oh, not a bad guess, I may say so. Right to the tip. That one there is basically just over 32. So 32 on the ruler. One more time, mate, and it's your lucky day. You're going back in. Black brim. I can never get sick of targeting these fish. I started on black brim many years ago, then went offshore, and it's amazing how you come back to your grassroots. Brim fishing, but now not using prawns, using artificial lures. How pretty is that? All right, time to put them over.
To find out more information about Fishing WA or just want to ask a question, like us on Facebook. One thing I really do love about brim fishing, especially in the upper reaches, is the backdrop. How good is this? Have a look at it. Just one, it's very quiet, very isolated, but two, the amount of structure, birds, just everything, just very much alive as far as I'm concerned and very picturesque. So if you plan to come fishing along the Swan River, especially the upper reaches, this is what you get to do all day whilst catching fish. Now that's what I call black brim habitat. You've got the dark water there, you've got a deep drop off, you've got the fallen in tree, so you've got all these snags, that's submerged, so underneath that would be black brim, basically coming out to ambush, you know, small bait fish, could be eating mussels, could be basically small little mullet, doesn't matter. Today is basically throwing around minnow soft plastics and if you're in the structure, you should get results. Oh, there's a tap. Yep, gotcha. Amazing, I was just doing a slow wine. I'm just saying to Jeff that now I know you get a tap to keep on whining, don't pause it. And there you go, you listen to the right people. Had the tap and went, oh, keep on whining, whining, don't stop. So you said sometimes you get a tap and often you pause, whether it being soft plastic or what it may be. But I can just probably just pull this one in, I reckon, there, Jeff. Now, it's not a big fish, but what I'm going to do is wet hands. If you're going to catch and release fish, wet hands are a must. Have a look at that. It's beautiful sunlight. That's only small fish. Well and truly undersized, but nonetheless fun. Catch and release black brim. Now what I'll do is I'll just grab the pliers. Often I see people, just grab my pliers. Often I see people using their fingers to actually de-hook. Not smart. You're gonna kick around and you're gonna get very sharp. In this case, it's an owner treble on the Eco Gear SX40, which I'll give you a bit of a look at in a second. There you go. Quality lure, catching plenty of fish. Whoop! And there you go, unharmed. Today's just getting better and better. Nice. I was just thinking, you've got the actual reeds, you've got the pylons. I did two casts, had a few little hits. Could have been rock beds, not too sure, and I thought one more cast. So it's so important to do at least two casts in an area that looks so likely. The situation went the three-er. And wham oh. oh get out of there. So important, it's short quarter fighting. Pull them out of the snag, and that's it. It's not bad. There you go. Just that sun starts to set, generally the fish, from what obviously Spads was telling me before, they really start coming on the bite. They start sort of mooching around a lot more, that darker water, looking for a feed. In this situation, it's the Echo Gear SX40. Don't spike me. Magnificent fish. Maybe legal size, I'll put a tape measure on it, have a quick look. Get it back in the water because I reckon if we keep on fishing, there's got to be a bruiser or two. It's amazing. Even these fish should be legal size. I'm going to check it now. They fight so hard. For pound for pound, they fight so hard. This was original. 25 is the legal minimum. Not we're here to keep any today, but 25. And follow me down. There you go. That one there basically is very close. I will say, not what I'm here to keep, but technically that there is around about 25 and a half. But today, it's all about being released. I know it's legal size, but what a magnificent fish. Doesn't matter if it's just size or 30, 40, they're all nice fish. Here's a lucky day, just over 25. Come on. That's a magnificent sight. Seeing fish swimming off unharmed. And nothing wrong with keeping fish. I mean, I used to keep brim many years ago. Now it's more of a catch and release, but if you're gonna keep fish, your bag limit is four, and only two can be over 40 centimeters in the Swan River and Canning River. So nothing wrong with keeping a feed. For me today, it's all about catch and release. So 
Ratfish and WA TV series, you've seen us use the Extreme gear. Let me show you just some of the products. We've got the Extreme PE braid, very well priced. From brim braid all the way through to Jewfish, awesome stuff. We've got the Extreme hooks. From skippy size all the way to Jewfish, snapper, you name it. Ultra sharp, ultra strong. We've got the metal slice, everyone loves a metal slice there. From herring all the way up to Taylor salmon size, great product. You always need leader, the Extreme leader from low poundage all the way up to the heavy stuff there for offshore deep water fishing. If you're chasing Jewfish or Snapper, Bolch and Groper, the Octo Jig and the Metal Jig, all different sizes, different colours, this will get you a lot of reef fish and out of the rods. The Fishing WA Extreme range is huge from squidding to bottom bouncing to trolling to poppering to jigging, you name it, we've got it. Very well priced, ultra light. Check them out at your nearest Extreme Tackle retailers or check them out online extremetackle.com.au Okay, now technique to target black brim on minnow lure. So important right now I'm casting out in the open, more of a demo, but the closer you get to the snag, the drop off, the better, the money shot. So what you do is you basically cast it out to your snag as soon as the lure hits the water, wind up the slack so there's no wind dragging your line. Keep your rod tip down low. Basically, all you're doing basically is a slow wind, move the rod tip down, feel the vibrations of the actual SX40 or minnow lure vibrating through the water. Rod tip down, wind up the slack. So all you're doing basically is moving the lure and winding up the slack is the pause. So it goes swim, 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 pause, swim, 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 pause. Often your brim will hit it on the pause, and if you feel a tap, now we'll say it's not my technique, this is Jeff Spadassini's technique. If you feel a tap, just wind slow after that, wait for him to come back, and normally, whammo, you're on. So, just like this. Yep, yep, gotcha, good fish. Oh, come on, keep that tension on, Ryan. Out in the middle of the open, what's going on here? You're supposed to be going back into the structure. This is a good fish. As soon as it hit, I actually, well, tell I. First cast, tap, tap, didn't get anything. Slow wine, exactly what uh, Jess said. He said basically, don't twitch it too much. They're following it. Then another cast, whack, whack, slow wine, nothing. Third cast, bit of a touch, and I was thinking, came in with a leaf, and I thought, you know what, one more cast. So fourth cast, and whammo, on ski. This goes to show you, mix it up, different colors. I've now gone to a gold SX40. It's not about just the red's the only color. Through my shop, I sell all colours, bait fish, red, gold, black, so important to have in your tackle box, all different colours, and it's on the day, hence why if you look inside Jeff's locker here, all his rods, he's all got different colour lures on, for that reason, oh, good fish, look at that, magnificent, alright, I'm going to bring him around to the landing net, and in you go, thank you very much. Another one on the deck. The sun's slowly setting and this place is starting to rock. There you go, Swan River, or Guildford Swan River, black brim in that beautiful golden sunlight. They really are magnificent fish, maybe at 32, 33 centimetres, and what a fight. Basically, push the lure through that snaggy area and whammo. Talking about the lure, the gold is working, the red's working, mix it up between different brands as well. Eco gear, zip bait, um, cranker crabs, they all work. It's on the day what they want. So magnificent fish. They really are pretty fish, sort of golden sheen right now. When they get a lot bigger, they have what they call blue lips to them. So when I say big ones, up to about 40 centimeters plus. So meantime, I'm happy to tangle with any quality fish like that. Here's lucky day, time to release him. Okay, down to the most important part, rig talk. 
Now with the rods, you can use one to three kilo or two to four. This is extreme two to four kilo rod, very tippy at six foot six, which is what you need to cast out the light minnow lures or soft plastics, whatnot. So that's the rod, now down to the reel. This is a Dial Caldia 2500. It's a silky smooth reel loaded with six pound extreme braid. Very well priced, but yet very strong. Now down to the leader end, which I'll show you in detail. Okay, so now the joining knot. At the end of the six pound extreme braid, tie a bimini. Why bimini? It doubles up the diameter. So when you tie a knot, one, it's stronger, but two, it doesn't cut into your fluorocarbon or mono. Just a short little bimini. It's all you need right there. Now the joining knot, it's back-to-back -back double uni. Very strong, goes through the guys, no problems at all. And around about a meter and a half of fluorocarbon. I like to run generally around about eight pound, maximum 10 and no less than four pound, down to loop knot. That one there's like a perfection loop. Having basically that loop there allows the lure to have a better swimming action. If it's a jig head, you tie it straight to it. In this case, loop knot straight to the SX40. That's it. That's my rod and reel. That's all you need to get brim and fairly inexpensive. You too, back at home, can catch brim just like me. This year we are giving away $2,000 worth of extreme tackle as well as a Bradley 6 rack smoker valued at $1,200. To enter, all you have to do is like us on Facebook. Okay, down to lures. Now, on the day, doesn't matter, it's up to the fish what they want. You've got Cranker Crabs, SX40 by Eco Gear, you've got your zip baits. To me, it's not my favourite lure, it's what they want on the day. Today's been SX40s, mix it up, different colours, different models. So important to be able to see in the water. Today I've actually been polarising some brim in the shallows. So these ones here, the Maui Jims, are one of my favourite pairs of sunnies. Down to the fluorocarbon, that's a pro lure. Now you can run between four pound fluoro and up to 10 pound. This one here is running basically eight pound today and to extreme snippers. So if you're gonna cut your braid or your mono, that one there does it all in one. No need to have braid scissors and mono cutters, all in one. And if the fish are a little bit deeper, sinking down, the Z-Man soft plastics are great or you can use McCarthy, depends on the day, what they want to eat, and put them all into basically a tackle bag, or in this case, it's a bum bag by Plano. That's it. That's basically rod, reel, all the lures you need. Have everything in your favour, and you too will catch more black brim, I guarantee it. Oh, that's a hit. Yep, on. That sun's starting to set, and as per what, Spad said, he goes, Ryan, they'll come on the bite, but we're running out of time. The sun is setting. So I reckon this is probably the last fish. And that's all right. I've been casting over Jeff today a few times and tangling up. Been in his way a little bit today. And there you go. I reckon maybe the last fish. All things, or all good things must come to an end. And there you go. Well, maybe another cheeky cast or two. That last bit of sunlight that we've got, black brim going off. Some big ones, some small ones. What an awesome day. Harry, where are you? I'm loving my job. Well, after 14 years of people emailing me and phoning me and asking, do we have a tackle store? And I've always had to say no. Well, now we do have a tackle store, Fishing Western Australia. Pro Tackle. And of course in here we carry all the extreme gear, which is our rods, line, leader, hooks, swivels, but that's not all. We also carry Fluger, Pen, Daiwa, Halco, and all the other major brands. So for all your tackle needs and advice, come see us at Fishing Western Australia Pro Tackle, located at 7 Delamata Road, Wangara. <laughs> Well, what a session. You know, we got here maybe around about just after lunchtime and the fish were on the bite all the way through. The sun's starting to set now. They're still on the bite, but we're done and dusted. So big thanks to Jess Battacini for taking me out in his full ball bow, showing me how to target brim in the upper reaches. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Fishing WA.